do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us start with the paper 2 of 2017 jwe advanced paper we will start with the question number 1 of paper 2 that is uh, we have called it question number 19 so let us start with question number 19 So let let us start the paper two. This is uh, paper two, first question, and uh, we call it uh, question number nineteen. It says, consider an expanding sphere of instantaneous radius r. So there is a sphere. of uh, any instantaneous radius suppose r so it is expanding so at any instant it is the radius is r otherwise it is has to expand it has to expand in uh, all possible direction whose total mass remains constant so what is given is that uh, mass is constant this is sphere whose uh, mass is constant the expansion is such that the instantaneous density rho remains uniform that is also constant uniform throughout the volume the rate of fractional change in density is constant the rate of fractional change in density is constant that is d rho by dt divided by 1 by rho this is also constant the velocity of any point on the surface of the expanding sphere is proportional to the velocity of any point on the surface of the expanding sphere if i consider any point here now it is here after some time the sphere will expand and its radius will increase this point will now move to this point so when uh, this point moves to this point suppose in dt time the point moves from here to here and uh, if i want this distance this distance is suppose dr this is the increase in the distance then dr upon dt will give me the velocity at that point on the surface and we to see that this velocity is proportional to what so to start with this question we will consider the mass is constant so if mass is constant then we can write that m is constant the mass is uh, density into volume density into volume then is constant then if i differentiate this because uh, with respect to time if i differentiate this because this is a, it is a constant so i want uh, the rho by dt so to have that i have to differentiate this equation uh, differentiate this equation with respect to time if i differentiate this equation with respect to time i will get this rho dv upon dt plus v d rho over dt equals to derivative of this constant is zero now i want 
I can write that uh, dv over dt equals to this part equals to this part goes to right side is minus v d rho by dt this rho is there and it will be get divided as is given in the question that uh, this part is a constant because this is given that this part is a constant so this is a constant if this is a constant i'll write uh, i'll write this as some constant into v this minus also can be taken no problem with that constant into v this means dv upon dt is proportional to v because okay, this all is constant so it's proportional to v this is the relation we are getting because that is given as 1 by rho d rho by dt is a constant now from this relation we are going to find the other relation so we have got this relation that uh, dv over dt the rate of change of volume is proportional to the volume at a given instant so now volume of a sphere is uh, 4 upon 3 pi r cube v is 4 over 3 pi r cube now in place of v i can put this one here and what about dv upon dt so to differentiate this equation with respect to time if i differentiate this equation with respect to time this will become dv over dt and this uh, is 3 times 3 3 will cancel 4 pi r square this will become 4 pi r square and dr by dt so in place of uh, dv by dt i will write this one and in place of v i will write this one over here then this expression will become 4 pi r square dr over dt is proportional to v v means this one 4 upon 3 pi r q then uh, i can uh, 4 pi i'll cancel this uh, r square and this r q is cancel and it will give you only one r so i'm getting dr over dt is proportional to r over 3 this r 3 is a constant so that means i am getting dr over dt is proportional to r because dr upon dt is velocity so velocity is proportional to r now the question is that uh, how this velocity is proportional to is proportional to r i am getting i am getting r so therefore this option is correct is proportional to r this is the answer okay thank you